When I was 11 years of age, my father died. I had two older brothers and they received 90, 95% of the wealth, which left me with five or 10% of the wealth to support my mother, Martha Ball Washington, and my four siblings. Uh, Mildred, the youngest, died uh, when I was eight. With that inheritance, uh, I really had no future for me. The wealth was gone. Both of my brothers had been educated in England. We didn't have the money to send me to England. So I was ambitious, like most Washingtons, but I had no future before me. Uh, not, not only lack of wealth, education, but position and connections. Uh, so when I was uh, age 15, my older brother Lawrence, uh, he went ahead and bought me a commission as an es ensign on a ship with the Royal Navy. And I was excited to do that because I could see that if I had made a name for myself uh, aboard a naval vessel, then heroism and position may come. And, and with that way, I could advance in rank and stature and wealth because the king rewarded his generals well, and so, and admirals. And so that's what I had before me. So I'm 15, I have a sea chest and it's, taken down the dock and placed aboard ship, and I was in the, the dress of an ensign. And I'm walking down the dock, and I hear my mother. And I turn once again to my mother, yes, mother. And she says, George, and I said, what, mother? I didn't hear you. And she says, George, don't go. And I said, what? George, don't go. She had just received a letter from her brother, George, in England that said that the battle with the French and Spanish, which of course England, we were always in battles with either France or Spain, um, that the, the ensigns on the ships of the line were taking uh, great, um, great battles and many died. And he said that me becoming an ensign aboard a royal vessel would be like suicide. And so my mother is waving this letter saying, don't go, don't go. Well, I had a decision to make. There's the ship. There is my future, my destiny, you might say. And all of this was frustration. And if I stayed here, my ambitions would not be met. I would not be able to leave a legacy for any children I might have, uh, a Washington legacy. So I had a decision to make. Do I go to future and success or I stay here uh, in oblivion? And I had a decision to make. The question I ask people is what would you do? Would you go or would you stay? I stayed. I did not go and, and why did I stay? I stayed because family was important to me. I was the eldest of the five children and my mother did not remarry nor would she remarry and so I essentially was the father figure at age 11 and to be a Washington to show an example I stayed but not only that but I also was a gentleman. Uh, we had risen from a lower rank to the lower gentry and with that a certain code came with that and, and honoring your parents is part of that and honoring your family was part of that and so as a gentleman I stayed but it didn't end there as an Anglican and we were raised my great-grandfather Lawrence was an Anglican minister in England uh, before uh, the Puritans came to power and then the Anglicans were defrocked um, and but we were strong Anglicans and I was strong in faith and also, one of the commandments says, honor your parents in the Lord. So that was part of my fiber too. So you see, at age 14, my decisions were already made because this is the fabric I was born into and believed deeply in and going against my mother's wishes and, and against family would not have fit into that, uh, that pattern that was uh, weaved into my life. So I stayed. And, and of course, the questions after that were, well, what if I had gone? What if I had been killed? What would the revolution have been like? What would a presidency be? If we ever had a presidency, if I went and I was successful and became an admiral, who do you think would be sailing against the Patriots in 1776? 
I may be as a royal British subject of George III. So you see, uh, many scenarios could play out. Uh, I did not go, and you know the rest of the story. Okay, that's good. So.